In this one, I'm checking out the brand new Shimoda Action X version two. Super exciting backpack. If you don't know Shimoda bags, these are extremely well-made backpacks, really made for outdoor adventure, outdoor photography, landscape photography, getting out there doing things. They've got so many different features. I really love their bags. I've previously reviewed their Explore version two, which to date is my favorite backpack, but I would say I might have some competition. Don't worry if you're not a fan of this yellow colorway, it does come in other color options, but let's jump in and check out the Shimoda Action X version two. Total transparency, I was sent this bag from Shimoda, unlike my last review, which I purchased the bag with my own money. So I do really like these bags. The thoughts are my own and they will not see this video before I post it. So I have broken this video up into different sections. First of all, I wanna go through some of the upgrades to the previous version of the Action X, cause we do have quite a few exciting updates. And then I'm just gonna go through some of the other great features that this bag still has in common with the old Action X. So let's start with perhaps one of the biggest updates which is the different colorways and also the different sizing options that are now available in the Action X. So of course, as mentioned, you don't have to go with the yellow. There is a nice conservative black like previous versions if that's more your style. Personally, I wear a lot of black. So this yellow is nice and complements that nicely. I think it does stand out, but I really like this shade of yellow. There is an added benefit to having a bag like this that does stand out as well, especially when you're out exploring because it is easily seen for both security and safety reasons. All different sizing options are available in the yellow, black, and green, which I do all like. I have the green in the Explore, which is a really nice color as well. Now, different sizing options, we still have the old 30 and 50 liter bags. We now have a 40 liter, which is really nice sweet spot for me, and that's why I've gone for the 40 liter. We also now have have a 25 liter and they are all available in the different colors so lots of different options something that will definitely fit your sizing and gear needs so some other updates compared to the old version we have kind of a redesign of this front pocket there is now a laptop sleeve in the front pocket so you have the same rear one which is a little bit more padded we'll go through that in a sec but you now have an option at the front here as well fitting up to a 16 inch which makes it really easy to get your laptop in and out for quick access we also have some redesigning of the side pockets which are perfect for tripods water bottles so these still kind of tuck into the side here which is really handy to put them away when you're not using but you can now unclip them so you can totally remove that if you want to use this compartment for a little bit more space i guess taking them off if you're not using them will lighten the bag slightly as well so it's nice to be able to take them off if you're not using them i believe we also have a bit of an update to the side handle which doubles as a luggage pass as well so this is really handy i use it all the time our handles have been kind of upgraded a little bit these are again really handy to move the bag around another great feature about these bags is the pockets that you get on the shoulder strap so these ones i think are slightly bigger than the old version you can now fit i just have the normal iphone but you can fit fit the new iPhone Max in here, I believe as well. Usually I keep like an Allen key and other things in here for easy tripod use. You can even fit a little water bottle in this one. I think when you're hiking, I love having my phone here because especially going up steps, don't really like having it in the pant pocket. So it just frees you up. Still have easy access to it as well. Opening the bag up here, we now also have a designated spot for your rain cover, which is right at the bottom of the bag here. So if I open that up, there's a little pouch right in the bottom here that you can pull out your rain cover as well. So that's nice to have a designated spot for that, making sure it's always there when you need it in those extra tough conditions. Another update, we also now have a hidden AirTag pocket. So if you're using AirTags or any other Bluetooth location device like this, you can now hide them away easily in your bag as well. So there's some of the exciting new updates to the new Action X compared to the old version. For me, probably the most exciting is actually the sizing options. Having 40 liter is such a great sweet spot. Usually for carry on, you're gonna be fine. It doesn't look too big on my back and you still have plenty of room for your gear. So if you aren't familiar with the Action X series, let's go through some of the features that this shares with the old Action X. The first one is probably this roll top feature. So regardless of what size you do opt for, having this roll top feature gives you that extra space when you are carrying a little bit of extra gear. So at the top here, you can probably see we have this little buckle 
simply undo it, it does roll up and we have all this extra space to make the bag a lot bigger when you need it. Often we carry a little bit extra sometimes. So this gives you an extra seven liters, perfect for things like jackets, extra clothing, sleeping bag, even whatever you need to shove in there, extra food, water. And then of course you can roll it back up when you don't need it. It's a bit of a funny design how this kind of clips together. It'd be nice if you could maybe clip it down out of the way. Just got this little kind of round strap on the top. But when I tuck it out of the way, I think it still looks pretty good. You can also access this top pocket through a zipper at the front. Inside the pocket, we have more compartments. There's two zippers. I'll just pull this out to show you. One zipper conveniently has a key ring on it, which for me is really handy. I usually leave my keys on this, remembering where they will be when I get back. There's another zipper on the other side, which is just another convenient way to separate whatever you're putting in this top pocket. Having two zips inside just gives you that little bit of extra security as well. So a really convenient top pocket. And of course, if you extend the roll top, you'll have a bit extra space in here as well. Looking inside our front pocket where you'll now find the additional laptop sleeve, you'll also find a couple of additional pockets in here. Again, two compartments here with a zipper, perfect for keeping any smaller items safe and remembering where you put them. There's also a loop at the top here. This is where you can put your hydration bladder if you are carrying one. To note here, if you are using a hydration bladder, it's actually so well designed, you can snake it through the middle of the bag and there is a Velcro point on the other side where it pops out and then you can put it through the loops on the shoulder strap, ready to go. Now access points, the main access point to our camera gear, of course, is through the back here. So usually you would lay the bag down like this and you can access all your camera gear here. This is also where you will find the padded laptop sleeve. Again, this fits up to 16 inch. And if you need that little bit extra padding, this is where I would keep your laptop. It gives it a lot of padding here against your back. As mentioned, it has that option at the front, which is really handy as well, which will be better when you need that quick access. So I can see myself getting use out of both of these pockets, depending on the situation. A bit different to other bags, it does open like a door, but I actually find this really quick to get in and grab your gear. It is much easier than other bags I've used in the past. And it's really easy to see everything in your bag. Again, having this teal color, which is common with other Shimoda bags as well, makes it really easy to see all your black camera gear. Also with these handles, it makes it, even when it's open, it makes it really easy to move around. So I really like this access point. Of course, we have side camera access as well. The thing I really like about the side camera access, yes, it's handy to have for those that need it, but if you're someone that doesn't like using side camera access, or you might be at a location where you're a little bit worried of theft, you can just zip up the core unit from the inside. So when it's on your back, pretty much impossible for anyone to pinch your camera gear. Again, common with Shimoda backpacks, they do use this core unit system. So if you've used Shimoda backpacks in the past, you won't need to purchase extra core units if you already have them. But if you're brand new to Shimoda systems, you will need to get either a pack that comes with the core unit or buy it separately. Basically, there is different size core units though. So just be aware, these will fit different amounts of camera gear, especially the mirrorless version isn't as deep as the DSLR versions. So I would recommend going for the DSLR if you can, depending on what size bag you opt for. Because these fit so perfectly inside the bag, they don't tend to move around much at all. And the bag also has a really lightweight frame, which not only helps it stand up well, regardless of what you've got inside, also helping the bag always keep its shape. Of course, you can customize the core units depending on what you're carrying. I really like these dividers. They really stick well in place. They're solid enough to support your gear, but flexible enough if you do need to maneuver them around. Conveniently, all the core units come with this zippered case as well. So effectively, you could put it in any bag and carry the core unit without your gear falling out. There is more information on the Shimoda website which tells you which size bags fit which core unit systems. So check that out if you need to. It does make these bags a little bit expensive if you're new to Shimoda. However, if you're unfamiliar with Shimoda bags, you should know these are extremely high quality bags. They are by far the best quality camera bags I have used. They have so many different features. It is going to be a solid investment 
if you need all those different features. As briefly touched on earlier, we have these side pockets which are really handy, which are perfect for tripods, water bottles. These kind of attach securely. You can use the straps here to lock them in in place, tighten it up. You can fit your really thick water bottles. You can fit tripods. You can fit even things like some sleeping bags or thin mattresses in there or attach them elsewhere around the bag with the many different straps and locks. But you can also just neatly tuck them away when you're not using them, which keeps the bag a bit more streamlined when you don't need them but the option is always there. One of the reasons I have opted for Shimoda in the past is just the overall comfort of the bags, especially when you're carrying a lot of heavy gear. So they have really high quality waist straps. You've got a sternum strap, you've got so many different adjustments, which makes it really easy to find the right position on your back. And I haven't used the previous Action X, I have only used the Explore, but there is some improvements, even in the waist strap. So we now have this extra adjustment here on the side as well, which kind of attaches from the waist strap to the bottom of the bag, just to make sure it's sitting in the right spot. So this is by far the most comfortable bag I've worn, especially when you're out for long days, not only out hiking, but for me, I often walk around in a city for the entire day. This isn't probably designed as a street photography bag. You will really stand out. But for me, it is perfect because I want a bag that is comfortable when I'm walking around all day taking photos. So I'm gonna be using this bag absolutely everywhere, out in the outdoors, in the city, anywhere where comfort is really important to me. Of course, the waist strap can be removed and it even comes with this neat little tool to take it out. The waist strap even has this extra adjustment for smaller or larger frames. You can also adjust the bag in many different ways to make sure the straps are sitting right, including these load adjusting strap and the height of the straps. Of course, like the old Action X, we have so many different straps and hooks on the outside where you can hang different items. You can hang things like hiking poles, ski poles, tripods, helmets, whatever you need to the outside of the bag. This is why this bag is so great for outdoor adventure. It has so many different options to carry a lot of extra gear on the outside. Even for me, just going away where I need to carry a little bit more tripod, gimbal, whatever it may be, you can always find somewhere to securely attach them to the outside. As you can see here, wiping it down, I actually find this material pretty nice just to wipe away dirt as well. Again, I find this material really premium and nice and rugged. It it also has this extra thick layer on the bottom and these two drainage holes if you do spring a leak. It also features really durable splash guard YKK zippers. So as you can probably tell, I am a big fan of this bag and just Shimoda bags in general. But is this bag going to be right for you? Now for a lot of people, this bag might actually be overkill. It does have a lot of features and options made to carry extra gear. So attach gear to the outside of the bag. They're also made for pretty tough conditions like rain and snow. They're also made to really help support carrying heavy gear as well. So if any of those features sound important to you, then perhaps this bag really is going to be worth it for you. For me, this bag ticks so many boxes and it has already become my new favorite. So if you see me out and about, whether in the city or in the outdoors, chances are you will spot me with my yellow backpack. All right, thanks so much for watching. Keep on creating and Keep on growing, my friends. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.